right guys, we're here at your house and we have frame. This is the very, very rough stage. Uh, they don't have the roof uh, installed yet, but they do have um, most of the frame and they did a pretty good job. I hadn't walked through yet, but it looks like they uh, they did the rough frame and then they're already, they already cleaned it up. So uh, it's looking good. So we're gonna go inside and uh, take a look at uh, the framework, so to speak. Uh, we're gonna look at, uh, we're gonna talk about this stuff right here, the OSB and uh and the things up in the attic there anyway let's go ahead inside and take a look all right so uh like i said the last time we were here they had just poured the slab and uh, remember they made it like a frosting on a cake so uh it looks a lot different than when we came out here last time only because the concrete is now cured um, it changed colors it, it went from kind of grayish to uh, more of a white color and um and they got a lot of your frame up. They got everything but the roof. And they did a pretty good job of cleaning up after. Um, they don't have a whole lot of scraps. So they should be roofing here pretty soon. But this is kind of cool. See, now you can see where those straps come in. They had those cemented into the slab. There's that one. And remember the post tension cables that we talked about? Let me see if I can show you these here. Yeah, there they are, right there. And they, I don't think they've tightened them up yet. I can't, can't really see in there if they, if they, if they tighten those up yet. So they'll wait until the concrete's uh, completely cured. And these cables, they go from one side of the house all the way to the other, and they'll tighten them up, and it, and it holds the slab together. So yeah, good stuff. All right, let's go take a look inside your house your front porch there's your window yeah I love when builders they fully wrap these homes in OSB which is oriented strand board um, it used to be some some really junky stuff um, but now they use it to wrap these houses it's cheaper than plywood but it's actually stronger than plywood if that makes any sense because um, of these uh, shavings that they glue in here and they press it and it actually makes it stronger than plywood. But yeah, they have the whole house wrapped in this stuff. All right, here's your house. How cool is this? Looks a little bit bigger once they get the frame up. When they when they just pour the slab, uh, everybody's really surprised that their house looks really really small. Um, but once you get a frame up, like oh wow, here's my living room. And, oh wow, here's my kitchen. And there's, there's where my island's gonna go. So yeah, it really changes everything. So they don't have any mechanical parts in here. They do have some drain lines that anything that was already there in the slab, they obviously have it there and they make room for it to do what it's supposed to do. And those are, those are drain lines. And those are drain lines. And you'll see this electrical conduit right right there that was built into the slab and that goes probably right to where the breaker box is so that's going to be for your dishwasher and your disposal uh, if you have a dishwasher over here i don't remember if you had it here or not but there's your island Wow, what a beautiful day. Yeah, we had a very rare cool front in mid-May. Super cool. All right, so let's take a look at how good they do. Uh, so they got three of these butted together. That's probably a load-bearing wall. And you'll also see the straps here. And you'll see I guess you call those straps also. Let me see if I can show you. Um, they're not they're not exactly hangers, but they do strap them to the joist. And they'll do that on every single one. Uh, most every single one. Huh, missing one there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, missing one there. Yeah, we'll we'll point that out. 
Some builders don't put straps on uh, every single one. They used to only have to do it every other one. But I think now most most good builders will put it on every one. That's funny. <laughs> they actually caught it. They missed one. That's why we come out here. All right. Let's just take a walk around your house. So this is your living room. And that would be a that would be a good spot for a flat screen TV. And this is your master bedroom. Yeah, I'm glad y'all got the uh, the bay windows. I don't know if that was an option or not. I, I think it was. Um, if it was, very good choice. Here's your bathroom. Yeah. So here's where your tub is going to go. If I can get my camera to work right. There we go. So you're going to have your tub right there. And that's probably your shower. Let's walk through. Here's your master closet. And we're gonna jump jump through a wall here. <laughs> Can't do that once they put the sheetrock. And here's a secondary bedroom. Good stuff. And then we're back to the front of your house. There's your front door. Here's your garage. And I wanted to see if I could find some anchor bolts. I know they have them spaced out. Uh, here's here's one. That's a good one right there. See how that bolt, I don't know if they put that in there originally but some, if they don't, then what they'll do is they'll they'll go ahead and drill a hole, and then and then uh, with a, with an expansion bolt, they'll they'll tighten that up into the slab, and then of course they'll tie it with that strap right there. Ooh, and I like this. I saw this on another home I saw, or I'm building. Um, they they shoot these into the cement, into the slab, and this this is probably going to be a shear wall. Yeah, that's going to be a shear wall. And so what they do with these shear walls is they anchor them and then they shoot them. I think it's actually a 22 caliber gun that they shoot these nails in. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, this is a Meritage home. Uh, they're going to do uh, spray foam insulation. And uh, yeah, they, they do a really good job. I'm really impressed with these guys. So, all right, that's pretty much it. We'll be back here next time. Uh, you should have a roof on. And then they'll start putting some mechanical stuff in, the electrical, plumbing, um, gas line, and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, uh, we'll see you next time. All right, so, uh, yeah, like I said, it looks really different around here. And um, I, I really love walking through these homes like this because you can see all the stuff that's on the inside. And um, once they get a roof on, it'll really start to look like a house. So we'll see you guys next time out here. Um, they have a roof and they should be putting some mechanicals in and uh, electrical, uh, plumbing, things like that. And we'll keep an eye on that. But it's funny that we uh, we actually caught a strap that was that they're missing. So uh, I'm sure the construction manager will come back out here and they'll, they'll find it. But if not, we'll tell them. All right, we'll see you guys.